hello and welcome guys again for this new video and today i want to make a small and short introduction of one tool that a lot of people seem to don't use even though it's very useful the tool is grid snap you have guessed that and let's make it very uh, short because there is not really a lot of things i want to say i'm gonna use grid snap for the next videos of tutorials so that's why I, when I decided to make a small tutorial uh, small introduction about it for beginners maybe for advanced uh, designers that never used it and they want to show how much it's uh, useful and is you're gonna see it in the next videos so don't forget to like and subscribe and join us on the, our discord to our server you, you will find the link in the description so let's go so when you start for every beginner you start with the generated hole and you can uh, go to the free form to use grid snap yes the grid snap is only available in the free form so to enter free form you have the button over here you click yes let's go now we are in free form and you have your grid snap in edit options you click on edit options you click on the grid snap and usually you have it on 10 uh, okay this is 10 centimeter so and the minimum you can use is one centimeter unfortunately i wanna less than one centimeter but let's say uh, it's the minimum for now hopefully we will have less than that but one centimeter is not always um precise so the only moment i don't use grid snap is when i for example the moment they want to uh, make a, a round turret or maybe some small details grid snap not gonna help you so you can deactivate it over here and work work with um, your uh, your points in detail so why do you need to use grid snap in this case Grid snap, as the name shows and explains itself, it's gonna snap your points. So I'm gonna use one centimeter, uh, five centimeter to to make it very use, uh, visible for you what it does. For example, I have this point, and they click on any arrow, and it's gonna move, as you can notice. So you can notice every every position. In here of the point is snapped at five centimeter so I'm gonna move it down and you notice this one up moved down by one uh, by five centimeter and this is very useful I'm gonna select all the points for example and click like this and you can notice every point have been snapped to five centimeter and it's gonna be useful also if you want to put points at the same level very um, easily for example here i want them to be like this so this is also a good tool uh, for a lot of things for example for faces when you want to extend you want the face for example to be uh, let's say half a meter for example like this and you do it very easily at 50 centimeter for example there is a lot of things you can do with that and it's gonna save a lot of time i promise you and you will notice that in the next tutorial that i will make about a side armor using grid snap which is gonna save you a lot of time i promise you I have seen a lot of people making side armor for so much time that it's blow my mind because it takes me like just few minutes to make a side armor like with few details and some people make it make it an hour or something it's okay to to, to start like that but it's also much better to have um, the tips like that like tricks grid snap is very useful tool you have to use it start using it 
and you have if you have questions you can ask in the comments if you have uh, any idea of tutorial you can join us on discord as i said and ask your questions suggest tutorials whatever just enjoy the community and welcome and don't forget to like and subscribe and if you like my videos you can support me on patreon take care guys see you next time